Hey everyone, Spray here, coming at you with some DayZ clip I uh, I recorded just yesterday, and I kind of just want to talk to you about maybe the future of this channel, since we got the blow uh, late last week that you know The Last of Us 2 might be delayed indefinitely, and honestly, when I was starting out th my channel, I was really looking forward to the content I wanted to produce on The Last of Us 2. I wanted to, you know, be posting, you know, tutorials and gameplays and tips and tricks and uh, we had our fingers crossed for, you know, part two on factions because we, you know, we played the crap out of factions part one so it was just the normal progression, you know. And so after Neil Druckmann and Naughty Dog came out and told us that because of the underlying circumstances there, there's not going to be a Last of Us Part 2 it kind of made me have to go out and you know buy a new game luckily here on the PlayStation 4 DayZ was for sale had an easy pickup late into the game obviously this came out a long time ago on the PlayStation 4 but 29 bucks ain't bad for a game and you know, I'm just fooling around with it a little bit. I'm a daisy noob, a freshie, I think that's what they call them. And I'm st struggling with the inventory system, as you can see. I know it's a lot better uh, with the PC Master Race friends. But, just doing a little bit of first person mode. Trying to stay in from the rain right now. And, I, I'm, I don't know what to do from here on out. I mean... I think I'm still going to post some uh, Last of Us Factions, you know, sp sporadically. But I was really looking forward to that game next month. We were, you know, 30 some day odd days out, and now we won't have it. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of upsetting. So I'm starting on a new game here. You know, I've been playing a little bit with my friends, and, you know, we've been enjoying it. But it's definitely not what we wanted to be playing. You know, it's kind of like you're doing something, like, for backup on the fly. It's, you know, it's fun, but it is what it is. Now, on this DayZ gameplay, just uh, me struggling for food and water, as you can see. I mean, I am having fun with the game mechanics, and I ha I like the concept. It's it's a better looking PUBG, you know, <laughs> if, you, if I could make that uh, correlation right there. Um, I've been messing around in some of the community servers and been having some fun, you know, getting used to the weapons and such. Because honestly, the 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 vets, the veterans that are playing this game are crushing me. I will tell you what, I'm having a hard time figuring out the map. I know this isn't the DLC map; <laughs> it's all old, but I don't know the map. And I play with my friends, I can't find them. I don't know where they are on the spawn running around 30 minutes, an hour, trying to find your friends, already low, dehydrated, you're already low on food. So, uh, honestly, this sounds a little newbie, but I've been finding it easier to play on the community tab with, like, uh, the 25x, the 50x, um, <laughs> the loot, the loot up. And uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll play a little bit with friends, and then I'll, I'll sign off until... Um, the server uh, restarts so there's a new spawn on all the loot that's the one thing the loot on this game especially with the official servers it's really lackluster this game really is not friendly to the new players I mean it is something it's really hard I'll tell you what I haven't I haven't been challenged by a game like this for a while just learning the maps and such and you see I just took out that chicken unfortunately craft in the fire is <laughs> something that I didn't know how to do but I tried my best we'll see how that goes <sighs> but um, yeah like I was saying it's, you know there there's not new player friendly there's you know how there's like a map in Fortnite you can see where you are there's no map in this game you just have to know you have to make the map in your head fortunately there's you know there's help online but you know, some players, you know, you, they just want to learn as they go. And on a game like this, it's going to take you a great while to do that. 
Now, I did survive this, uh, not survive, I did download off the App Store this um, app that I'd recommend any new player that buys this game to download immediately. It's this I Zer Survive app. It's I Survive, all one word, with a Z. And I would definitely recommend uh, downloading that app because it gives you uh, like a map on your phone and it also gives you like points on like waypoints on like where everything is like if you're looking for like good loot spots if you're looking for like certain places it shows you you know every place on the map and all their names especially it, it makes it easier because you know they're all in like Russian or like Croatian or whatever that language is but yeah it has um this current map we're on now and the Lithuania map I'm pretty sure you can download both of them for free and there's a way you can set up a, a group setting where you can um, add your friends to a group and you can like pinpoint where everyone's at so you know how to get to each other of course I found this out the hard way you gotta know where you're at to be able to pinpoint it in the app now <laughs> so you don't know where you're at like the app's useless, so you, you know, you gotta have a little bit of in-game, uh, finesse, I would say. And, um, yeah, this game has a pretty big learning curve, but, you know, I'm having fun, you know, once, you, you gotta really get the ball rolling, you know, I think, um, some of the Daisy YouTubers I was watching, they call it the snowball effect. Like, once, once you get rolling on, especially with friends, like, you know, that hours will just fly by, like, really quickly. And I mean that's what I like about this game. It kind of you kind of just like uh, you you kind of lose yourself a little bit into the game, and uh, that's what I like about it. I like that you can switch between third person and first person uh, viewpoint too. That is a big selling point for me. Just all this rain right now. This and that brings me to my next topic. Just like this game is just way more detailed and thought out than I. <laughs> ever thought it would be like you know it's raining so your body temperature goes down you're running your body temperature goes up you get hurt you're losing blood you gotta heal yourself before you bleed out it's just like you gotta keep track of your hunger and you you know you gotta keep track of your your thirst and you can't be drinking the wrong thing you gotta make sure <laughs> you're drinking water that's uh... it's drinkable water you know potable so it just it goes in depth I'll, I'll tell you what you know it's not like you it's not like a fortnite where you can just pick up the gun and just, just start sh you know shooting other players like you really have to know what you're doing and you can appreciate people that you see you come in talk contact in game that are obviously looted out decked out and they have a bunch of ammo because they have to find the gun which is hard to do you don't just find one you have to find the ammo you gotta find the magazine you know you can't just you know reload you gotta prime it you gotta put the the munition in you gotta pull the pull it back I mean there's a lot that goes into this game you know I'm having fun with it but I just wanted to give you know the subscribers an update and tell you you know what's going on and uh, why there's been a lack of uh, Last of Us content lately well that's gonna be about all today see I'm trying to make my fire peace y'all